Hi guys, today I want to share one of my favorite projects that I've done lately. I'm making my own gradient jigsaw puzzle. This was definitely an experiment for me, but I think it came out so good, and I think it would make a great gift for the holidays. So I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I did it. You'll want to start with a puzzle you're okay painting over. I'm using this one that I was sent by bits and pieces, but you could always find one at a thrift store or somewhere in the back of a closet. So take a few hours and put together the puzzle. Once you have the whole thing put together, um, make sure that you had done it on a piece of foam core because you want to be able to pick it up and move it outside. Then use white spray paint to paint over the entire thing. You'll want to do really light coats so that the pieces don't end up sticking together. Once that's totally dry, it's time to add the gradient. I was inspired by this mountain gradient puzzle made by Cloudberries, so I taped off half of my puzzle with painter's tape and a grocery bag. And then I used the light coats of spray paint to add a gradient. I decided to let this dry overnight because I didn't want the tape to pull off anything I just painted. So the next day, just tape off the other side of the puzzle and add your second gradient. I was also inspired by the box designs of the area wear gradient puzzles where it's just a gradient and no other information. So I also spray painted the puzzle box with my same gradient. So once all of the paint is dry, bring the puzzle inside and remove the painter's tape. And you've made your own DIY gradient puzzle. I am obsessed with how it looks. I think it came out so good. Literally, like why did I spend so much money on all of those gradient puzzles when I could have just been making my own this whole time? Of course, you don't have to do the exact same design that I made. You can use any colors and tape off as many sections as you like. Literally, the sky is the limit here. Well, I guess how many jigsaw puzzles you have and how many colors of spray paint you have are the limits, but you know what I mean. So you can carefully take the puzzle apart and put it back in the box, and I think this would be an amazing gift for anyone who likes jigsaw puzzles and wants to try something different. And if they already have some gradient jigsaw puzzles, this one will fit right in with their collection. So if you want to hear me talk about all of the jigsaw puzzles that I have, I actually made a five-part series showing every single one that I own. I might be a little obsessed with jigsaw puzzles. I don't know if you could tell. Or if you want more inexpensive gift ideas, I made a video with tons of DIY ideas the other day, so I'll link that video down below as well. Let me know in a comment what colors you would paint your gradient puzzle. Make sure to like and subscribe if you liked this project. Merry Christmas and happy puzzling!